my name's Georgina. I'm a um, physiotherapist here at Cranfold and I've been working at Cranfold since 2017 uh, and I started in a part-time role. So every week I uh, hold two clinics at Cranley School uh, on a Monday and Wednesday when I work with adolescent uh, sports injuries mainly um, and I work all day Friday here in Cranley at Cranfold and I do pop up to Dorking once a week and take a Pilates class there. I qualified from St Thomas's Hospital uh, in 1988 and um, after that my first job was at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge where I did all my junior rotations so I uh, experienced uh, rehabilitation, amputee rehabilitation, neuro, worked on the intensive care units etc. Um, after that I was uh, based around Stevenage before and then I went off to Canada and worked for a year uh, in Toronto at a, a sports and medicine centre um, seeing our patient physiotherapy. I came back from Canada and uh, went to work in Oxford. I worked at the Radcliffe Infirmary uh, treating uh, backs and necks in outpatient clinic physiotherapy. And after that, I uh, stopped and I studied for my master's in manipulative therapy um, up at Coventry University, which was a two year course um, with a lot of clinical placements as well. And again, the specialist. specialist uh, uh, professional qualification uh, in manipulative therapy. Probably now my main hobbies out, outside of work are um, I actually uh, take part in Tai Chi and Qigong so it is a martial art uh, and I do do some weapons training as well um, so I am interested in the whole movement and mindfulness of the movement and and also um, just the balance element that's required there. I do have an interest in dance, mainly because my daughter is a very keen dancer, and so that is a developing interest for me. My favourite part of being a physiotherapist is, is getting people, helping to get people better and enabling people to live uh, healthier, healthier lives and um, also help, helping people to learn how to cope with, for example, chronic pain, pain that just doesn't completely go, but how to manage that in everyday life. Um, it's great also at the school just being able to help young people get to an understanding of their bodies so that they, they can learn to look after their bodies because we've got to look after our bodies for our whole lives.